What is up guys, welcome down to episode 3 of Thursday Threads and this week we're going to be going through Galvin Green's Spring Summer 18 collection and also Walrus Apparel sort of lifestyle collection. So there is so much to talk about with the, the Galvin Green stuff. They are sort of pioneers in the, the layering system. I think they got it down to a T. Uh, this is the first time I've actually had my hands on Galvin Green stuff. And I have to say, I'm super impressed. I thought it was going to be uh, not complicated, but never looking into it before. I, it was all very confusing with all the layers they had, but I sort of had a breakdown. I've had a, a talk with the guys and it's really really sort of a simple layering system um, and they've added a kind of a another an extra layer in this year which is their sort of shell layer hybrid which sits between their sort of full waterproof outer layer and then their sort of insular thermal mid layer uh, it's called a uh, one in between there um, which is really nice I've got one of the jackets here the Larry jackets but we're going to start at the beginning and we're going to start with their base layers and we're going to go through the whole layering system. So first of all is their sort of their their base layer basically which is their skin tight stuff, their thermal top. This is the Ebert um, top. You've got a crew neck here. They do it in a roll neck as well and as I mean there's not too much to talk about this. It is a, a solid base layer. Comes in black or white. The white has some blue detailing on it. Um, the black has orange, as you can see, and I think they do some plain ones as well, and some ones with uh, a small zip sort of mock as well. But yeah, the base layer is really nice. I've worn it a few times at my workplace. I'm a rock climbing instructor by day, um, and there's basically three walls at my work rather than four, so it's the same temperature as outdoors. So at the moment in the evenings, it's really cold, so I throw this on underneath, and it's kept me really warm. It's not one of those ones that is like ridiculously tight, um, and thick that you know constricts you and makes you itchy and stuff like that I found that with a few sort of cheaper brands this is really nice it's it's tight enough that it's going to keep you warm um, but sort of loose enough that it doesn't you, constrict your movement um, or your blood, blood flow so yeah solid top well made doesn't feel like the stitching is going to come out too much um, nice solid stitching on there as well so I like that that's the Ebert top which is good right Moving on now to their cool layer, uh, which are their polo tops. So this is their cool layer. So basically their polo tops, um, if it's nice and warm, obviously you only wear the cool layer. It is extremely breathable, uh, moisture wicking like they say. Uh, it's also got uh, ultraviolet protection of 20 plus, I think. So, you know, uh, cut out some of those UV rays, which is good. And again, it's really nice. And they've got lots of different sort of designs on it. They've got some stripes, they've got some block colors. Uh, I quite like this dot. I wasn't fond of it to start with, but it's a nice pattern. Um, I've got everything in the sort of black, orange, um, and white color scheme. Uh, they do like a, a green and, and white one. They do a blue and white one. They do like a navy one. And I think they do a black and white sort of color collection as well. Um, that you can buy all the layers in or you can mix it up it's completely up to you but i think those color schemes work quite well so yeah nice and flexible this has got some stretch in it as well nice fit fits your body quite well i find everything with galvin green has actually fit quite nice um i'll come on to the next layer in a minute which is a little bit tighter um but it's designed to be like that uh, with their body mapping which is really good nice detailing on the collar the way they've got the the details on here um it's sort of that, you know, rubbery kind of ironed on feel, but it's really nice. Uh, they've got that on the sleeve and you've got the little Galvin Green logo on there. Um, I don't get anything on the back, no. So yeah, it's really nice. This is sort of their Ventilate tops. Um, and again, I obviously haven't tested it out in the warm weather. I haven't had chance to yet because, you know, we're in England and it's not warm, but nice solid polo. Collar feels fairly stiff like it's going to hold its form and we got buttons rather than poppers. So, you know, what could possibly go wrong with that? So now moving on to their mid layer section. Now, in fact, these are my two favorite pieces. I'm wearing one here and I've got one here of this mid layer um, part of their um, layering system. So this is the insulating one, the insula, as they call it. 
we'll go through my, this actually we'll go through this jumper first so drago which is this jumper which is more um i would personally not wear it on the golf course i don't think and um, though obviously you definitely could nothing wrong with wearing a jumper but i think it works really well it's sort of on the inside i'll show you um it's kind of got a, like a, a waffle pattern um which is really nice. You can almost see it on the outside, it looks a little textures. And then this galvin green across the front here, which is sort of raised letter, same colouring. It comes in this colour, which is a like a grey blue kind of colour. More greys, but it's got a tint of blue in it, um, which is really nice, like slate maybe I'd say. And it comes in a black as well. Um but this is this is really, really nice. It fits amazingly. Both of these layers, um, because they are the the mid layer the insulating layer the insular layer they're a little bit tighter than everything else fits obviously not as tight as the um the skin tight stuff but like the jackets that go over these are a bit more room because they're designed to go over the top of other clothes but these are they're going to keep you really warm they're fitted nicely to your body i mean sleeve length is perfect for me it's the perfect tightness it comes in a little bit around the waist you know and this jacket does as well with their sort of body mapping technology which sort of hugs your body but it's all stretchy enough that you can swing in it which is like amazing like i said these are my two favorite places so the drago uh, jumper which i'm going to be wearing a lot of the course um it's got on the back i'll show you it's just got insular technology and a really small green writing i think um but nothing too sort of out there and if you didn't know who galvin green were you know you wouldn't tell that this is a, a golf jumper because it doesn't look like a golf jumper and then the next which is the dawson um top which is i think my favorite piece easily my favorite piece got this in the white um it's uh, it's so good so body sort of mapping they've worked out where you sort of lose your heat most and and stuff like that and they've they've padded those bits so on here you've got um padding on i'll show you this way they've got padding on the shoulders front and back you've got padding on the upper arms here so you can see like there's a little patch um here and on here like this gray is a little bit warmer this gray um is exactly the same as this jumper actually just a little a little thinner i think um but exactly the same color same material that sort of waffly kind of thing um and then the white is the thinnest part and also you've got that sort of gray waffle down the back so down the back shoulders and upper arms are sort of more padded keeping you a little bit warmer got a nice sort of tall collar on it in it that is waffly i can show you what i can show you the waffleness now i'm calling it waffle i don't know what it is but there you go so yeah you can see that sort of raised traps the air a little bit keeps you nice and warm and it is ridiculously warm and then the white bit is a little bit more um sort of breathable so it doesn't you know you can breathe in it it's really breathe say breathable again shall we Craig? it's quite breathable you don't get overly hot um if you start warming up if that makes sense it's it is really nice and again sort of slims in at the waist to, so you haven't got extra um material around your waist when you swing so this is one of my favorite tops i think i've covered everything on there uh yeah just checking my notes um but yeah so that's a really nice top i really like the sort of the detail in it i like the padded shoulders i like the the galvin green at the back again got those sort of raised letters on there um and there is a pocket um with the insular layer on here as well now pockets is the only thing i'm going to say about this and the next piece as well there isn't any apart from that one on the sleeve uh sleeve here there isn't any pockets in here now i know galvin i can't remember who i was talking to but someone said galvin green have been a bit erratic with their pockets they used to have one in the back which kind of made sense um because obviously when you're swinging you don't want pockets here and i think that's the reason they don't they do they do it they don't put pockets here is because they they feel if you put things in your pockets here it's going to be restricting your swing now that is understandable but i would like pockets there in my personal opinion just because there is no pockets on this top or the next layer um anywhere apart from that sleeve obviously you've got trouser pockets you're not you know it's not a huge issue but pockets is just one thing that i i personally and a couple of people have mentioned to me that is not a drawback but it's a light thing that i'd like to see added to but other than that they are really nice i'll tell you what i will get the prices for everything as well at the end because i'm not 100 percent sure on prices but i think this is around the 150 mark 
but yeah, really nice. Zips are really well made. This is, um, yeah, so it's not weatherproof or windproof or anything like that. And the next layer is, um, but really lightweight, really warm, just a well-made piece. Like I said, these two pieces are my favorite. Right, now moving on to my last piece. I don't actually have a outer shell layer to show you, one of their waterproof stuffs, um, but I do have this, which is their new um, mid-mid layer. <laughs> don't know how to describe it. Basically between um, your outer water sh waterproof shell, okay, and your um, insulating layer, they've decided that they're missing a piece. So for people that, you know, for those times that you don't need a full waterproof jacket, um, because those can be, you know, quite restricting, quite heavy sometimes, um, but you need a little bit more weatherproofing than the um, thermal sort of insulating layer somewhere in the middle of those they have felt people were needing a jacket like that but they didn't have one so they've made this which is their shell hybrid layer what i've got here is the larry top now this is uh i'm a huge fan of this piece as well some details that i'll go through on it first of all um but what you have is you have the primer loft filling sort of on the front and on the back there that is going to insulate you so that's going to keep you warm and then you also have a weatherproofing on the outside as well so you've got it is fully windproof so it stop you from the breeze keep you nice and warm and it is water repellent as well so it's not waterproof uh, but it's water sort of repellent resistant so it's going to take a, a light shower but not fully waterproof so in the you know those times where you don't need a full waterproof this is going to be the go-to jacket um you know this is the sort of uh, with their marketing, they're going, you can wear this 95 times out of 100 rounds, that this is going to do the trick for you. When it fully downpours, you're going to need that waterproof jacket. And I really like it. The material is really nice. You can tell it's, you know, got that sort of weatherproofness on it, um, but it's not going to be full waterproof. Again, nicely in details. You've got their sort of Interface One uh, logo on the back there. Pockets. You've got a chest pocket here, just by the Galvin Green logo. Again, no pockets down here probably would prefer that um this one sits a bit sort of looser around the body again it's designed to go over the the top of other jackets so it, you have got that extra room there which is good and you know you have a uh, elastic band elastic band um at the bottom elastic just to tighten up that bomb if needs be so you can tighten it up which is perfect stops the wind coming as well so yeah it's a really nice top i really like their loan system the details on it as well details that's where i'm going to go so just like their just little bits like this the elasticated cuffs with their the galvin green etching on there so things don't slip up or if you want to roll the sleeves up a little bit they stay there it's just tiny little bits like that work really well with with galvin green the layering system is is really nice you've got the base layer You've got then their cool layer with their ventilate um, polo tops. You've got that mid layer, that insulate layer with either the, the Drago here or you've got the Dawson um, sort of zip up, which is really nice. You've got the shell hybrid layer with the interface. You've got the Larry and I think you've got a, a launch jacket as well, which is their weatherproof ones. Um, you know, water resistant it's going to stop the wind, but it's not fully waterproof. And then you've got that outer shell layer, which is the fully waterproof full on you can play in you know thousand mile an hour wind gales and you'll be absolutely fine if you want to so you know you could wear technically you could wear all of them at once if you really wanted to but that um those last two layers you could swap out when you need fully waterproof or not fully waterproof so i think the layering system really works i think that sort of interface hybrid jacket is going to do really well for them everything's designed really nice i'm just going to grab the prices for you so I've got the prices here for you. So the Larry, which is the interface jacket, which is the, the outer layer that I've got, is about £250. Um, so, you know, you are paying a premium price, but you get lots of technology for that. The next, the Dawson sort of inside layer, uh, which is that white one, which I was really liked, was 130 This jumper is about 95 to £100. The polo tops 
are 75 pounds and for the thermal layer the base layer the ebert um, long sleeve top you are looking around 50 60 pounds so again you know with galvin green you know you do pay that high-end price but you are getting a great product I, these guys have been in the golf world a long time they know what they're doing they they make clothes that work as well as look good um sometimes i think i've been put off a little bit by their you know bold out there colors but i think they're they've got some of the out there colors with the greens and stuff like that which are quite bright but you know this black and orange you've got the white and black you've got the navy there they've toned it down but they've still kept that that galvin green brand you know if you you see a top you know it's galvin green it looks really good it works really well it's just a really solid line it's just like i can't apart from pockets i can't fault it one single bit it it's just there like i say you pay the price um but you get you get the product for that price if you know what i mean it's it's good value even if it's expensive because you just get so much with it and that sort of stuff will last you um you know a lifetime if you look after it as well so i'm really excited about what they're doing um this year i know in the autumn they've got some really cool sort of pieces coming as well um so when that comes out i'd be hopefully i can get my hands on some of that but yeah galvin green is at the top of my list right now we're going to jump to sort of the other end of the spectrum price wise not quality wise um, and we're going to talk about walrus apparel's sort of lifestyle collection i've got a couple of pieces here that they've sent me through but it's a, a brand I actually really want to talk about um they're based in wales i think in swansea somewhere like that um they're local anyway uh, to england and they're making really nice good quality stuff at a very affordable price um They've got some things coming this year which hopefully will work for them, but the stuff they've already got is absolutely fantastic. I, They sent me a jacket uh, originally, one of their quilted jackets, which was amazing quality, really well made, um, as good as you know some of the other quilted jackets you get off, off Nike and stuff like that, and it was only 60 quid their Ethan jacket. I have reviewed it already, so I'll leave a link in the description below and I'll leave a card up there a carder i'll leave a card up there um so you can go check that out if you want but i've got some of their lifestyle collections so just their day-to-day -day clothes which again are, is really nice um we're far through it nice and quickly because there's not you know too much tech to talk about but it does work really nice so 100 percent cotton um just a nice t-shirt there their logo is a little walrus hence the walrus name um and what it is is like a silicone um little stitched on logo i'm a huge fan of a good label like i've mentioned before and stuff like that and it works really well so this is um their morgan uh, t-shirt uh, if you go to their website um all their models are big muscly men now i had a word with you who's the owner of the company about that and how when i first saw it it put me off because i thought these were always going to be huge for me because they're designed for big muscly men and as you can tell i'm not a big muscly man um but they're not they fit really well they're um, i find i come to the jackets in a second because something about the sleeves and the rest of the body is a it's not odd but it, it worked really well um but yeah really nice this comes in like a, a black and a sort of tan color i don't know what they call it what i'm going to find out what they call it because it's just a weird colour. I think they're calling it neutral grey, um, but I'll show you it on the on the top anyway. But yeah, really nice, fits really nice, really well made, nice um, cotton. You can know you can wear this day to day life. You can wear this to the gym. It's just a nice t-shirt, and those t-shirts are coming in at. I was just on there. Why did I turn it off? Twenty quid, nineteen ninety nine. So you know. If you're looking for a t-shirt, then perfect. Uh, my favourite piece I'll go to next is this, which is their hoodie, which is the Luke hoodie. And it's just really nice. Again, 35 quid for this one. Nice colours. Again, it comes in the black, I think, um, and the, the grey, definitely the black. Got the logo here, got the pocket, got the, the sort of the Joey pouch here. And it's just, again, 
little details like the silicone label down here really soft to touch this one really light it's quite a light hoodie fits really well i find the sleeves are quite tight um, for me so this is a small i wear a small in here so the sleeves are quite tight um, and then there's a little bit extra more room around the waist um, like it doesn't it it feels slightly bigger than the uh, than the arms but the arms have come up quite tight it does say on the website that if you want a baggier um, hoodie then go up a size so these are designed to be fairly tight like a, a sort of a muscle fit feel to them which I really like because the small fits nice because it, it's quite tight to me so I really like that really soft on the inside as well and it's just again a really nice hoodie for 35 quid you know the other sort of golf brands make hoodies and stuff like that but they are quite expensive for what they are is just a hoodie and stuff like that that is if you went into you know any high street shop you're going to get a nice hoodie and it's just it happens to be a golf brand as well their polo tops are really nice um i haven't had one of their polo tops but i can only imagine because it was the same with the ethan jacket the fit is really nice the sleeves you know are a little bit tighter you've got a little bit of room around the waist it's just really well made and then their last is their sort of tech hoodie here which is in that sort of grey beigey kind of look um this one's 40 quid but really nicely well made again again you've got the little details in there the round the bottom round the sleeves and around the top of the hood you've got that a little bit of extra elastic on there like I said with the Galvin thing, in fact, it just isn't embroidered with a name, if you know what I mean. But it's exactly the same material, exactly the same look, exactly the same design. Nice toggle on here, you know, zip's not going to break. It's a fully good zip. You've got pockets. It's just, like, there's not too much tech on these sort of tops. Um, but I wanted to mention them because they are so good. Um, and on here, this is like a, a polyester outer, but you've got a brushed line, um, brushed sort of soft, inner and again i'm going to be wearing these hoodies a lot i just wanted to briefly sort of mention them because i think it's a company that are, are doing good things really good things like i said they're perfect value for money some of their tops i'll show up i'll throw some pictures up of some of the stuff here um but they've got you know like i said that ethan jacket for 60 quid they've got some gilets that are you know cheap as well i'm just gonna I haven't had any of the trousers, so I don't know how they fit, but, you know, you're looking at trousers at 40 quid, you know, quarter zip pullovers, 40 quid, 45 quid, gilets at, at 40 pounds as well, you know, just really nice tops, and their their tops are like 24 pounds for, for a polo top, and if the quality on the polo top is good as the stuff I've already had from them, which I can only imagine it is, such good value, really nice fit, well made um, at an affordable price. So definitely go and check Wal Walrus out because um, I really like them. That is not a paid ad. I just happen to really like that company. They've sent me a few things for free, um, but yeah, really nice. So lots of good things in this show. Galvin Green was phenomenal. Walrus Apparel on the other end of the price spectrum, some of their lifestyle clothes, but you know, good otherwise. Lots of things come in, like I said. Um, if you haven't checked it out, go and check out my behind the scenes video, um, which I dropped on Monday. I went to Adidas HQ um, in the UK to check out their sort of collection. Also had a look at what they're releasing in the winter autumn coming this year. So lots of nice things coming from them. They're really pushing this on off, on course, off course look with the Adi Cross. And then they've still got their timeless stuff with the Adi Pure um, and their normal day-to-day -day golf and stuff with their uh, anti-performance stuff those really lines are really nice um and lots of other things coming hopefully some more footwear from uh, nike coming like i've mentioned um and puma will be here soon so puma hopefully in next week's show so guys thank you very much for watching the video uh in the comment sections down below let me know first of all if you've heard of walrus if you have any of their stuff um, if you haven't definitely go check it out but let me know if any of you guys know about that stuff and also the galvin stuff uh, I know some people sort of swear by Galvin who's so let me know if you've had any of their Galvin stuff how long their stuff has lasted because I know it's it's sort of well made and lasts a lifetime some people have had jackets from like years ago let me know if you guys own any of that Galvin green stuff 
And until next time, push.